Hey everybody. So what we're gonna do in this video series here is we're gonna test this 3D printed fan. Now this fan is 3D printed as a single piece, okay? Um, the reason I'm doing this is for the last three years I've been collecting all the data to build an S3 Viking, which is a twin engine uh, Navy aircraft. So look up S3 Viking. And I wanna build one of about 170 to 180 inch wingspan which means I need jet engine fans that look like they're around 13 inches in diameter, okay? So this here is 203 millimeter, and all I'm testing here is if centrifugal force is gonna make the, the uh, blades depart the hub. Now this is all one 3D printed piece. I'm using ABS. I use it at a very high temperature of about uh, 260 C to make sure that it really melted and, and bonded all the layers. Um, now, just so you know, real jet engines, if you're looking at like the uh, compressor side, the N2 side of a jet engine, those are around 10,000 to 11,000 RPM. But the fan that's on the front of like a GE90, which I, uh, is the 777 engine, it's only turning about 2,500 RPM or 2,600 RPM. So, I'm not building this fan as like an EDF fan that's gonna turn 20 or 30 or 40,000 RPM. This is gonna turn somewhere in the five to 6,000 RPM range when it's at the 13 inch size. But right now at the 203, I'm just spinning this up to see how fast it can go before it blows up. So I'm gonna start off with 8S and go through some different levels of increasing the RPM. And if I have to go to 10S, to get it to disintegrate, then I'll go to 10S. But I'm hoping I can run this continuously for about an hour. Now I know I'd have to change the batteries, but I wanna get about an hour on it at around 6,000 RPM without it disintegrating. So we'll see what happens in this video series. Um, I have six test plans where I incrementally are gonna increase the RPM. So I know there was a lot of people out there that were like, you're insane, this thing won't go over 3,000 RPM. It might not, it might blow up at 2,500 RPM. But we're gonna see what happens here. The motor is a Hacker uh, A60-16L, which is my test motor. If you've watched all my other destructive testing, you've seen this motor go through a lot of hell. And uh, that's pretty much it, everybody. So I'm gonna put a lot of data in here. I am measuring the amperage of the motor, uh, the RPM of the motor, the current of the motor, the watts on the motor and all of that, but that's not the purpose of this test. The purpose of this test is to see at what part this would disintegrate. If this is successful, if I can get 6,000 RPM out of this, I'll go to the next step, which is a uh, 310 millimeter fan, I think. And then ultimately I'll get up the 330 millimeter, which I think is the 13 inches. Don't quote me on that. I, I might have screwed it up in my noggin. So I uh, hope you enjoy this video, everybody, and rock on.
Hey everybody, so um, this testing was insane. So I'm not sure all the data I got, but I ended up having to go to 12S. On my earlier test, I got up to 6,000 RPM. I'm probably guessing I was at 6,800 RPM. Um, it'll be surprising if I was at 7,000, so we'll see what happened. But this is an ABS 3D printed fan. If you don't understand what I'm doing, watch the whole video before he has questions, everybody, because I'm developing a large S3 Viking uh, that I've been wanting to build for many years, but I need to know if I can make a 13 inch fan work before I ever do all the drawing and all the CAD and waste all my time designing an airplane that I could never find a uh, power unit for. Um, it's absolutely insane that this stayed together. Um, at 6,000 RPM, I thought it would probably be its limit. Actually, I didn't think it'd go over 5,000 RPM. But the fact that I got 6,000 on 10S, <clears throat> I'm really excited to know what I got on 12S. Um, the motor is a little bit warm, but I mean like lukewarm, it's not even hot. Um, so it's gonna be interesting to see what the results are. But uh, who would have ever thought a 3D printed fan? Now look, I have no idea what the thrust, the efficiency, or anything is. This was only to test if the centrifugal force would pull this fan, fan apart. And on 12S it didn't. So um, through the video, because this is the end, but through the video as I edit it, I'll put the results of some of the tests so we can kind of learn together what this fan did. Now, my next step is to build a 200, um, I'm sorry, a 290 or a 300 millimeter fan that has individual blades that connect to the hub with my goal of getting to a 330 uh, millimeter fan and if I can turn that 5,000 RPM and have roughly a 14 pitch equivalent out of all of my blades turning, basically I need five pounds of thrust per motor. I need 10 pounds of thrust total to fly this model I'm wanting to build. So um, the next step is to build the next fan. And if that doesn't come apart, then build a real fan and then start testing its thrust, its efficiency and all that stuff. So rock on and uh, hope you enjoy my videos. Take care.